Okay guys, we are back and today we are going to be unboxing this monster right here. I ran a poll to see if you guys wanted to see me unbox and set up Possessed Pumpkin or Bubba, man's best friend, and you guys chose Bubba. So we are going to be setting up this monstrous evil Cujo of a dog right here, right now, today, right after you subscribe. I'm waiting! Okay, so this is Bubba, man's possessed friend. This is one scary animatronic. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so this is from Spirit Halloween, man's possessed friend, red light up LED eyes and mouth, ferocious barking sounds, includes fog hose and connector for easy connection to fog machines, stands two feet, 10 inches tall. Look at that guy right there. And I just happen to have a fog machine, so we will set that up. Wait a minute, no I don't. I don't have any fog machine liquid. Crap. I sent my fog machine liquid home with my son, that other Nate guy on YouTube. So unfortunately, we won't be able to set up the fog today on him, but really all it does is kind of eke out the bottom of the, uh, the doghouse as you see it right there anyway. When I set him up for Halloween this year, I definitely will have a fog machine attached. But unfortunately for today, that's not going to happen. So let's go ahead and just take a look at the rest of the box here. This is the side over here. I love the artwork on the box. Bubba is so freaky and creepy. So he was originally $1.99 in the store, and I more than likely used a 20% off coupon. And as with all spirit animatronics, we have the back here that gives you a little rundown, a little story about Bubba. I will let you guys read that for yourself on the website. And then if we come to the other side here, this side looks a little bit different, but it still has two very scary pictures. And we've taken a look at the box. Let's go ahead and open this up. We'll take everything out, make sure that we have all the pieces. So we have a box of parts right here. We'll open that in a second. Okay. All this stuff is taped together in here. Another little box with some pieces parts. And look at this, this is funny. This is what I see as I'm looking down into the box. <laughs> Bubba's nose sticking right out. That is just too funny, look at that. Bubba's face just poking out through that hole. All right, so what do we have here? We have the instructions, the fog hose. We'll get the peeking Bubba out first. Oh my gosh, I love it. Hello, Bubba. All right, we got the fog hose, we got the adapter, and these are all pieces, parts for doghouse. Look, there's the top. Ooh, it's the front. Bubba's doghouse. I'm getting excited. Let me open this up here. So we have the back of the doghouse, the front of the doghouse, Bubba's head, the two sides, the top, have the adapter, the hose. Ooh, all kinds of little pieces in there. He might be a little bit more involved in putting together than what I expect. So this is what we have in this box, a whole bunch of little pieces, parts. That's probably what this one's gonna be also. Uh, yeah, it looks like that's his control box. A couple of other parts here. And... Little metal pieces here. Uh, all right, and there's the mechanism that must make him jump out. Get down to doing what we need to be doing. So we need these two. And these two. Oh, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay. Three. Ah, cramp in my hip. Something like that. We got this front. Okay. Place the wooden base over assembled metal frame. Use zip ties to fix this onto the frame. So I assume the zip ties go through these little holes here. I hope I'm doing this right. Attach the dog head to the pop-up mechanism. Come here, dog head. What the heck? It's weird because you can't see inside 
while you're putting this in there. What the? Okay. All right, then we got this thing. Looks like it's coming together fine. All right, then we take this one. Oh yeah, get Bubba, he'll be fun to put together. You know, usually they're really good with their instructions, but this is kind of difficult. It's very small pictures, and it's kind of difficult to see. So one of these goes on the top, but it's difficult to see what direction it actually goes. And then this goes in here. I guess that's right. And the heck. I finally figured out how to do it, but I had to turn off the camera and just mess around with stuff for a little bit. Then you use these little screws put in here and twist. This did not need to be this difficult. For such a small prop, Bubba's house is falling apart. <sighs> Bubba, I am not loving you right now. I will be so glad when this is over. Well, that was a job to put that stupid thing together. There is no reason this thing should have been so difficult to put together. The house is so flimsy that I'm even afraid to pick it up to put it on the floor because it feels like it's just going to fall apart. As you see, we got the secret keeping cat here. <laughs> but I'm trying to get Bubba to work here. When I turned it on, his head went back inside. The sensor doesn't seem to be working. Hold on, let me mess with it a minute. Okay, I got him to work. I had forgotten to plug in the sensor in there. <laughs> he is awesome. He was a major pain to put together. Surprisingly, he does not look like he'd be that hard to put together. All right, yeah, here we go. We got the lights out, except for the lights behind me on the steps. So, there he is. Look at that face. Holy crap, he is seriously scary. Okay, yeah, for as difficult as he was to put together, this is an awesome prop. He's totally scary. He jumps out of there so fast. And, I mean, let's face it, it is scary to hear an evil, crazy dog slobbering and growling and barking at you. So let's go ahead up here and get him to jump out again. <laughs> Oh, 
Bye bye. Okay, so I turned him down, but there he is, Bubba, man's best friend, evil Cujo looking pupster. We got the secret keeping cat over here, and there is Bubba. Look at that face. Holy crap. Like I said, he is definitely one of my favorite jump scare animatronics, but man, putting him together was such a pain in the butt. I might even take like some two by twos and build a more solid frame so that I can attach his house to it on the inside because that would not interfere with the function of him jumping out of there, but it would make that house much more solid because as it is, it just feels like if you even lift it up off the table, like look at this, it's just flimsy plastic. It's got to be the most flimsy animatronic I've ever touched. <laughs> Nonetheless, though, there he is. He's totally awesome. All right, Bubba, come on. There he is. He's totally awesome. He is totally scary. I absolutely love him. That house just needs to be reinforced. It's so super flimsy, I cannot even believe it. And he also would definitely be much better if we had the fog coming out down here. All right, Bubba, there he is.